Yo, what's going on guys and welcome back here to another episode on our PAL World series. Uh, before we get into too much of the live action stuff, I got some awesome clips to show you guys of me going around catching some very needed PALs. So hopefully you sit back, enjoy that really quick and then I'll meet you guys back here. So we've been needing to upgrade our mining base a little bit with some different PALs that are actually going to be solid miners compared to the uh, Crobats that we had in there originally. So I went out and found some dig toys. Now they're located in like the middle part of the map at the desert there they're what, pretty lowish level um, not too bad to get you can get them pretty early I think they're what 14 15 something like that uh, so you can go ahead and find them in there and I went ahead and captured up like six or eight of those I think over the time and then went and put them in um, our mining base and they just absolutely crushed it in there I was then exploring and found a few more different powers that I went ahead and scooped up as well So, I don't know if I'm, I'm new to this or not, but see, we got a little timer here, right? It's 15 minutes 50. If we transfer it into a box, it resets the timer back to 20, and then you transfer it back, and it just keeps resetting. I really feel like that's not meant to do that. Like, it should just keep its timers. So, um, yeah, that's a little nifty trick for you guys if you you know needed a cake and you didn't, didn't want to wait the whole time. But let's go ahead and incubate this large frozen egg really quick, see what we get. A sweeper. I think he's actually pretty decent too. Oh yeah. So, oh my god. Like I've even forgotten what I've done. Um, I think I need to show you guys all this stuff. Yeah, yeah. I think that's where we're at. Um, I'm not sure if you saw clips of everything here, but these are some of the new pals that we got while we were out and about. I'm thinking you would have saw recordings of some of them, but not every single one of them. So yeah, there's a few really cool ones. This one looks pretty good. Um. The mud is not too bad as well. I got this guy from a raid, so he's pretty good. We could probably chuck him in our party, I reckon. And let's just replace that one. And the King Packer Christ, I think, will be pretty good. Um, Sweeper was a new one that we just got. And then we got a, another shiny, we got a shiny crevice. And a couple more of the dig toys as well later on. There he is, the shiny crevice in there as well. Very nice, but uh, on our map here, we have a fair few of these pals here that are pretty low level that we should be able to go ahead and beat and capture. So I reckon that's what we're going to go down. We can literally knock out these three up the top here, plus I think there's another two down the bottom here, maybe three. Yeah, something like that. We'll, we'll see how we go, but we'll probably craft up a few spears. I'm sure you guys have seen this, right? Did we see this? I don't know, but let's go ahead and craft up this guy as well. Um, do we have the Anubis around here? Anubis, sir, please stop on the tools. Uh, can I pick you up or no? Nah? You come and craft this for me, sir. To be able to absolutely smack that out. There you go, look how fast he is. Oh my god. I don't know if you guys saw this in the last episode or not, but um, there's a short I uploaded just recently about it, um, to how to get the Anubis. But I'll run you guys quickly through this. We can go ahead and breed it super easily. Um, let's just acquire that Giga Shield, chuck it on as well. What's our shield now? 540. Gosh damn. Anyways, we basically breed the Kinguin and the Bushy together, and then they make the Anubis. It's super easy. I'll leave a link to that video uh, just up top here. You guys can check that one out. We got another one in the incubator as well, ready to come with us as well on our little adventure. But uh, yeah, I guess I'll dump this stuff off and we'll start attacking some bosses. One more thing before we go. Let's go ahead and craft up this guy here as well. Oh my god, where is the Anubis? Why are you mining, my dude? Alrighty. We got the handgun ready to go. What does it use? What bullets? Oh, with that, we rise and shine, ready to go. A hundred bullets in our magazine. I don't think we need the crossbow anymore, but hey, we'll just take it. Why not? Is that finished? No, 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 not yet. Okay. Let's get cruising. Okay, first stop. Let's go hit up the King Packer. Oh, there's a shiny around here somewhere. Damn, you can hear them from so far away. What the hell are we going to try on this? Oh, let's try the handgun, eh? Let's go, little one. That does a fair bit of damage. I mean, they are level fours. Surely we'll be right. 
noise. All right, there he is. Level 23. We're going to try and capture it. See how we go. Let's burn up these guys first, though. Not really sure what kind of moves it's got here, but... Okay, let's see what you can do. Damn, good thing I crafted that new shield. Damn, that absorbed that whole hit. Yeah. There we go. Oop. Please just take the one. Hey, There we go. King Baka has been acquired. Alright, I'm going to try this guy next to the Incinerum Noct. That was a level 23, so it was still a little bit difficult. Let's let's go get the bushy one on. Okay, let's enter the dungeon. See how we go. Oh my god. Dark Claw Hunter, go. Oh my god, you can buddy. Just teleport around here? Oh, you would. Alright, let's move up to the gear sphere. This doesn't work. I wasn't really hopeful, but... Surely that's got it. Yeah, we're right. There we go. I, we're not going to be able to do that one. Let's jump up to the Azor robe. Do we try and hit it? Bring it back this way? Come on, come back to land. Oh, it doesn't want to. Okay. It's a little smarter than I thought. It's okay. We'll just do this. Oh, damn. Don't like that one. Oh, this one's going to hurt. Oh, no. Let me jump off you because I need to fly still. Color back. Oh no! I don't think I'd do 140. I haven't hit it in the head like this entire time. Precious dragon stone. No idea what we use that for. Okay, let's enter the dungeon. Who are we versing? Actually, let's have a quick look at that. Catrus, level 23. We're gonna nearly use all these buddy 100 bullets. Ah, get away from the buddy purple orb. Wow, you would. That'd be annoying. Just go in the ball. Go in the ball. God damn. Stay in the power sphere. They're using too many of these things. Okay, I cannot hit you anymore. Are you serious? Stay. Oh my god. Jeez, that was beyond a joke. Why didn't you just want to go inside the bloody sphere? <sighs> and we just leveled up as well. Very nice. Yes, I would very much like to leave that dungeon. Thank you. We might go knock out these three, and then that's probably us done, I think. Yeah, alrighty. Let's teleport there and try and get a Quiven. This one here looks much scarier than the last ones we've faced, just because of how big it is. Oh my god, go away from me. Yeah, do the damage to that thing. God damn! Can we get the Quiven one more? Hey, there we go. Sleep on Calvin Green is said to be heavenly experienced, but there are also some who have been crushed and sent to heaven once. Because <laughs> it tossed and turned in its sleep. That's funny. Okay, you can, like, attack him for me if you'd like. And one more attack should be good. Am I hitting my own pals? He's on fire. If we don't capture him here, he's going to die. 
Oh, we got him. I was gonna say, oh, Ring of Earth res resistance? resistance? Yeah, we only got six hyperspheres otherwise, but hopefully this will do it. There we go. Felbat acquired. This is the uh, Dig Toys base, but. Oh my god, look how many bosses we got. We got King Packer. We got Felbat. We got the Mud. Quiven. Uh, Catrus. And Bushy. This Quiven thing looks pretty cool. This is why these guys are so much better than uh, the other the other fell bats that I had. I think here, the crow bats. I think they were actually. Sorry, not fell bats. These guys just absolutely obliterate everything. You know what? We're over 125 ore in there. Not too bad at all. I'll just stand around and collect the rest of this while I'm here. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and breed ourselves up a Rayhound. So we're gonna throw in a Capriti. Capriti? The Capriti? And we're gonna. Nope, not you. Go away. You. Come with me. And a Kingwin. And this here is used for a few different breeding combos. So we just need to go ahead and get ourselves a cake, which we have one laying over here. Just acquire that. Nice. Chuck that in that box there. And they are working on it. Very good. Oh, there's a pirate saddle, the pickaxe and helmet. Oh, we can go ahead and craft one of those up in a minute. And a fine bed. Yeah, why not? We'll do that. We also have nine of these ancient technologies to use. Yeah, let's delete our sturdy bed, and let's go ahead and build the fancy one. Where does the uns oh, there's a power diffuser. Infuser. Oh my god, this thing's huge! Let's go ahead and put it, like, here somewhere, I guess? Bling. Damn, it looks hella cool. I also didn't realize the front of it would be over here, either. Okay, select power. So, infusion. It doesn't cost anything, though, right? Like, we can just get it to, like, a level 1. I don't know. Let me do, like, a lift monk or something, I suppose. Condensation complete. Your power's stronger now. Okay. Oh, damn. That go. That escalates very quickly. From 4 to 16. So, yeah. I guess with that there, we might go ahead and wrap up the video just there, guys. If you guys have enjoyed this one, I don't forget to like button and subscribe. I think in between episodes, I'm just going to go ahead and grind out some resources. Probably go kill those uh, bosses a few more times as well. And, yeah. If you have enjoyed, don't forget that like button and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later.